Maya Izakovic, shalom. Shalom. Hi. Hi. And welcome to Culture Buzz. Thank you. Maya, I don't know even how to describe you. <laughs> A shooting star in the skies of Israeli rock. <laughs> A A recent uh, success highly appreciated by the Israeli public mm-hmm. your album is very successful you are touring all over Israel and it seems that uh, it's only a matter of time before the world discovers <laughs> Maya Izakovic so what, what do you have to say for yourself um I've, I've been doing this for the last three years in an intense way since I, since I decided that music is what I want to do with my life. Uh, Lucky us. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, I decided that I'm going to go for it with all my energy and just give it everything. And uh, I feel like it's been a... intense journey up till now uh, very very fun and I feel very grateful to to be doing what I'm doing and hopefully soon I uh, just carry on and a beautiful journey if I may say so myself Thank you. <laughs> and it seems that uh, there is a new trend I don't know how to define you but recently uh, more and more Israeli singers uh, are singing and writing in English and it's the same with you I mean your album is it's only in is only in English yeah so you had to give up Hebrew uh, the way. actually I, I I didn't give up Hebrew because when I started writing uh, my parents are South African and I speak English at home mother tongue mm-hmm Uh, and for me when when I picked up the guitar for the first time and started discovering my voice I just it came out in English and also the music that I that I first discovered and loved and the artist that I was influenced by uh, were mostly in English um, so so it kind of was very natural for me to just be write in English but definitely when when I started performing and other artists Israeli artists before me uh, who've done it in English like Asafa Vidan and Tamar Eisenman uh, I think it definitely opened opened up a door for me that maybe wasn't there before yeah, it, became, it became more legitimate yeah people people are more open to it it's not as a uh, big barrier as it was maybe right. a few years ago and basically your reply led led me to the next question because you mentioned your influences what would they be who, wow, would, who would they be <laughs> we, have, we have time uh, in the beginning right in the beginning I was very influenced by Alanis Morissette um, Sarah McLachlan and Eddie Vedder, Pearl Jam, uh, Chris Cornell. Who just performed in Israel. Who just performed in Israel. Um, uh, ben Harper. A lot, a lot of different, different people. Uh, over, over the years, I'm all the time influenced by different things. But I think that was the strongest uh, influence on me. But uh, being born and raised in Mayan Baruch up north, Who were your Israeli influences? Uh, also, right in the beginning, Ronit Shachar, a very strong influence for me. She used to perform with Shlomo Arti? No. Right. Uh, I, I didn't know from Shlomo Arti's days, but uh, I knew when she became a solo artist. Right. And I love her. Yeah. Ayudim, um, which is more hard rock band. Um, Evetar Banai, big one. And if uh, you had to describe your music, I know that some artists uh, resent it very much. <laughs> uh, how would you describe it? 
And now I think I the general topic would be folk rock with all kinds of uh, different flavors in that, like blues, country, soul. And but when when in the beginning when I started writing and recording my album, I had no idea what I'm doing. And all the time people asked me, and I didn't know what to say. And then I just started asking people what they think is the category. One of the criteria today to a successful uh, song or clip is the number of views in YouTube. And before uh, coming here, I checked. <laughs> and you are doing very, very well. We are talking about <laughs> hundreds of thousands of views. Uh, that's a... Uh, I have to say that's a lot because of the radio. When, when we started performing, I think the, the, the rumor kind of spread from, from mouth to ear. And then when my first song, my first single got into the radio, When you say radio, you mean Galgalatz? Galgalatz. The famous playlist? That, that was the, Galgalatz, the main radio station. The, the, famous, the notorious playlist. <laughs> Got into the playlist. Also other, other radio stations played it, and, but I think that was a big bounce for me. That, that uh, caused a lot of uh, buzz and people started checking out on YouTube. Can we talk a bit about your plans for the future? Uh, sure. <laughs> can, you dis- can you disclose anything? Wow. Uh, you caught me when I'm just... It's very... Only if you want to. No, no. It's, um, it's all bubbling up. A lot of plans. Uh, first of all, second album. Mazel tov. Toda. <laughs> C- coming, coming out when? I don't know. I haven't started recording it yet, but I'm planning on starting working on it probably in the next few months and finding a producer. It's all a, also a journey, a completely different journey. And um, keeping on performing and touring in Israel, but also starting to try and head out of Israel. And hopefully soon we'll have the first tour outside of Israel. <laughs> As you know, we are all for it when it comes Thank to you. exporting the buzz. I may, I hope, I just want my music to get to as many people as possible. And we wish you all the success with Thank that. You. And we'd like to thank you for taking the time. And we will be honored. <laughs> It will be a wonderful uh, privilege for us if you'll be kind enough to perform for us. I would be happy to. Thank you. Be my honor. Thank <laughs> you. Coming up. <laughs>